Hi YouTube. So today is February 14th, so it's the 14th day of beta, and it also happens to be Good Friday. And I just wanted to ruminate on a couple thoughts related to that. Yesterday, a member of my church who been there for a very, very long time was laid to rest at a funeral that was lovingly attended by many people from my church. And as I was there, I couldn't help but contemplate the fact that it was Holy Week. And knowing as we were at a graveside, as he was about to be lowered down and buried, that about 2,000 years ago, there was a group of other people who were mourning, that there were people who saw the death of Jesus. And it was a very different death. It was much more violent. It was an unexpected, young death. But the pain is still there. And what I find most intriguing about it is although these people believed in God and they had this heart for him and they knew there would be this resurrection someday, it just wasn't as tangible as it, as it is for us now because of the death that Jesus did. So we know that about 2,000 years ago Jesus came to this earth, he lived this perfect life, and that life was snuffed out in a very violent, heart-wrenching way. And when he died, he redeemed us. He took the sins and the things that we've done that we think or say or do that are opposed to God. And he put them upon himself. And he was an offering to cancel that out. And he did that, and it was beautiful and probably horrific in ways that beyond just what the cross is, I can't imagine the weight of feeling that sin upon yourself. I can't. My own <laughs> can be enough. And as I was at this funeral, and as I was looking at this, knowing that it doesn't feel right, and it doesn't feel as it's meant to be because death isn't part of the plan but then just being so profoundly grateful for knowing that Jesus came and he died so we didn't have to worry about this that the lady who passed away at my church her death was not the end that she is actually reaping the rewards of what this Good Friday represents and especially what that Sunday coming represents and that we know that Christ washed away her sins and my sin and he wants to do so for all of you and if any of you out there have happened to randomly come across my video don't know who Jesus is don't haven't taken the time to ask for forgiveness of your sins and open your heart I would love to talk with you about that in a private message or down in the comments and I'm actually going to do a video fairly soon about um, steps and things that go with that so I'd love to hear from you okay guys um, prayer for that family would be great um, the lady that passed away's name was Marvel is Marvel because she is hopefully joyfully in glory right now no words about her Perhaps you can pray for her and those who loved her. And I ask that um, just take time to think and to contemplate today on what is a really special, meaningful day. You guys, God bless, and I will see you tomorrow for more data.